Welcome back to Nerd with Jane J. James Charmack here for another Marvel's review for you. Actually, tell me more about compare contrast, I hope. Uh, so, behold, the vision! We are looking at the white vision from WandaVision. Obviously, we're continuing on with the, uh, with the uh, Disney Plus wave I've started after two years. So, uh, it's more going to be compared with uh, the vision we've already gotten from the uh, two pack, more. And maybe the transparent one, I don't know, but we'll uh, see if there's any differences between this vision and the other figures, articulation-wise, design-wise, whatever. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get started, I suppose. Let's start with the box. We'll talk a little bit about the box, because yeah, I got something to say about the box. Okay, so we're not going to do much of a box tour today, because I bought this uh, from Amazon Warehouse, and if you don't know, it's basically where the, all the damage stuff goes so obviously the back there is not so much got a little text right there about the character but obviously uh figures are gone the artwork's gone there it's a little bit of dust it's, this has obviously been in the collection for a while i haven't gotten to it but otherwise the box is a normal box the uh, window display arc on the side vision logo on the top i guess more work on the side there and uh you saw you know the back has the artwork which is Kind of damage, but as again, we're opening this up, so uh, we're you know, I don't care about damage packaging, but you know, fire beware since they do the cardboard box now, so you know, someone could send it back with a different figure on the inside. So, anyways, uh, let's go on with the review, I suppose. Okay, so I pulled out the vision from the Wanda Vision 2 pack that we got from the Infinity War set, and uh. There are really two main differences, otherwise everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, they have different cape styles, as you can probably tell from the uh, collar, as well as the uh, shape of the capes themselves. And uh, obviously there's a little bit of design difference, it looks like, to me. And the heads are two different sculpts, as you can see the jewels are in different spots uh, a little more defined on the Paul uh, Benny head there as well as the uh, details a little bit different especially you can tell on the sides and the back more or less so yeah yeah it's probably a let's say 80% same figure about 20% new but still you know obviously it was more like a rebuild more or less so they used you know the same parts they had Clearly the head was destroyed from the movie so, in the Infinity War, so you know, they sculpted the new head in the uh, show or whatever, and there you go. So, which figure is more interesting to look at? Um, clearly, you know, which one's which one sticks out a little bit more? Gotta go with uh, your old-fashioned vision, just because there's more color to the film, obviously. Whereas, the white vision has couple of you know off very off-white details to them more like goldish white for like the the shin guards as the uh, wrist gauntlets as well as the belt not to mention he has the uh, the uh, the gold gemmer power source whatever the blue power source he has but the old one obviously gold cape you know red and green uh, contrast as well as the silver helmet so there you go so it doesn't look like, like there's anything different on the articulation wise, but we'll go over it anyways, obviously. Uh, his head goes back that far. It's about the same, about the same distance, I guess. Uh, can go all the way around. Can tilt from side to side. His arm goes about that far. Go all the way around, obviously. Uh, bicep rotation, double joint the elbow, wrist back and forth and rotate. You can bend back that far, go forward that far, rotation of the waist, uh, legs go apart that far, go forward and back that far, uh, thigh rotation, double joint at the knee, no shin rotation, but back and forth, and angle pivoting. So, pretty much you get the same art level of articulation as the uh, vision we've already looked at. Let's uh, talk about his accessories. Okay, so accessory wise, doesn't really come with much, comes with the usual stuff, uh, two pairs of hands, one in the open hands, and one a pair of fists, 
no, not re too much detail on the fists or whatever, just, you know, regular fists with soft and white paint and uh, parts for the Build-A-Wing. It looks like the Build-A-Wings will be kind of foldable, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with that. And uh, in case you're curious, basically the regular Vision comes with not only the Wanda Maxima figure, but, you know, just a pair of fists, so there you go. So, you know, what a good time to do like a before and after, am I right? Uh, so which couple wears it better, the uh, before Wanda and Vision or the after Wanda and Vision? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, it's not so much a, you know, versus video. It is, but it isn't, but because, you know, it's, you know, more or less mostly the same figure with the exception of, uh, obviously the cape, uh, the cape on the, your regular Vision, you know, helps him stand up a little bit more, you know, get some more action poses in. The uh, cape on the white Vision is a little bit shorter, different head sculpts, and but the paint differences help uh, that head the, the stand out a little bit more. You know, when you have a mostly all white figure, you know, you have to really look at and look at the figure harder to see the differences and the details and whatnot. So, yeah, we'll uh, go with uh, your regular standard uh, MCU Vision versus the uh, white MCU Vision. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this one better than that one? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Kind of surprised I got, you know, even double judges for the Wanda video. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, we're continuing on with the wave. Next up should be Loki from Loki Series 1. So we'll take a look at that. Maybe do maybe do another versus video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, my name is James Charmack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys do like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like like the video don't really get too many likes i really dig it if i got some likes and uh you know share a video or something like it'd be cool if we could, you know make this channel grow a little bit more that'd be awesome anyways as always i'm james charmack this has been a nerd with jay so keep on collecting and happy hunting